was in hospice. His day to face life was over. I look at death. I was terrified inside, even though I knew God was supposed to be surrounding me. I don't think I understand the fullness, even after being years of a pastor. And the day came. There I was with my friends, one on the phone. I was facing death. I was leaving this world. I heard the voice breathe in Holy Spirit three times. Inside, I was like, I don't want to let go. Why does life have to end so soon? And then there I was. I was in this room, surrounded by my dark shadows and the things I believed about life. So many lies, I didn't even know what to do with it. One area had a big door that was too big to move and another one too small to even fit through. I just sat there with the dirt on the walls and went, oh my goodness, where am I? I could hear the lies that I believed in my life echo and see the visions as if it was right there, as if I was reliving it. I remember hearing a voice saying, don't speak out loud, I'm within you. The voice got so loud, I remember getting to a place where I went into the fetal position. And I kept hearing the voice. You are not what you think you are. And I am not what you think I am. Ariel, look up and see who you truly are. I couldn't look up. It took so many times. I was just entrapped by all the beliefs that I believed my whole life. I know I wanted out. But I kept hearing it. Ariel, you are not what you think you are. And I am not what you think I am. I remember saying, Christ, I could see the darkness surround me and I could hear God again. You're only believing your perceptions of the fallen mindset. You need to open your eyes and see the truth. And the light shone. All of a sudden, I could feel everything within me. Almost like each vein, each inch, and each part of me was being surrounded with the in-depth of love. I was looking in the depth of the mirror. And I watched the creation of the Trinity grab me and pull me within them. And then them pull me within, them come within me. And I realized that we were one and never separated. The light got brighter and brighter and all of a sudden I realized that my heart was always within the light. There I was. I was so blind. I was never separated. None of us were. We were one union. One love. Fear was a mirage. This peace that I embraced was beyond anything I could ever even explain on the face of this planet was a recognition that one love, one union never separated us. An overwhelming peace came in within me. I was able to stand. I was able to look directly in the mirror. And as I gazed with the three of us in one and one within the other, I realized that I was in the universe and the universe was in me. Love, kindness, grace, compassion, mercy. And in the mirror rose a lion before me. I realized that no matter what came against my tent, that nothing had to come near me. But it was my own perceptions that got in the way. The traumas I faced weren't my capital identity. They were being washed completely away and we were all light. Within a stream of beauty beyond. Each family member, each person from all the ancients were surrounded, but we were one. We didn't need to think. We understood each other. I remember being in a place where we were looking in and I was seeing my son. I knew that God was the ultimate time traveler and that everything was in God's hands. I went storming in like the lion I was. Please. Return me to this place that I have left. 
I know it was my time and so much time has passed by. But I ask you to return me with the fullness. Don't let me forget anything. May my words and me, may what I walk be known as peace in your love. As God began to cry the Trinity, I saw the truth. I realized that I would have to go and face my sons and let them know of truth that I lived lies and I didn't even teach them the right things. Even though I had to return to life, I still had to return to the intensity. The intensity of still facing a fallen mindset, a world that surrounds us with lies. I had two friends I hung on to, but I recognized what I did in the midst of that was look to them for direction that I shouldn't have looked to. How can they have direction for something they've never experienced? The one union. When I returned, I realized that we were all one and every person I saw was a part of myself. And if anybody did anything hurtful or judgmental, it was only a reflection of something that they were going through themselves and I didn't have to take on anything. It wasn't that easy at first. After a long process, almost about a year, I stayed silent with everything I learned way too long and it honestly started to eat me up. I realized I needed to live in much more peace than this, a union. So I began a journey where I started to get into more of the reality of walking in that peace and that bliss that I was shown. I realized there was cell memories to my body and I had to get those memories dealt with. There were still shadows to face. Each and every one of us every day, we face a fallen mindset. But we need to recognize that we are not in fear, that each and every one of us have always been in love, a one union. We're not designed to be separated or segregated. That we're surrounded in a world that sends off frequencies called chaos, which create fear, lies, perceptions that are not reality. So the one thing that God told me to do, and that was to show my kids truth. And I did that. And the other thing God said to do was walk in bliss and peace in the union and recognize that no matter what, it is more precious to embrace the excitement and joy of life than to ever look at the fact of a fallen body or mindset that looks in the face of fear of death. For there is no death. There is only life and love and union. And once we're freed from the blindness, we all shall see the truth of our beings and return to our original designs.